It's an honor to be up here and maybe just a bit scary. Thank you for being here to support assets. When I was little, I went to Kamehameha where I loved all my friends. I tried to be the funny cool kid hanging out with everyone so they liked me. I didn't want them to be mad at me for slowing down the class. You see, whenever we take a test, the teacher would tell us whenever we finished, we could go outside and play. All my friends finished fast while I struggled to finish. And even then, I didn't always finish. Because of me, nobody got to go outside and play. Sometimes the teacher would tell us when we finished, we could read our jaw to the end of class. I saw my friends getting a reading jaw while I struggled. I didn't understand why my friends finished fast. I felt dumb and I was mad. I wanted to finish like everyone else and I wanted the chance to draw. My mom would tell me over and over how much she loved me, but I always worried that she wasn't proud of me because I wasn't learning like the other students. Teachers and counselors talked to me and my mom and tried to help me um, to stay behind and work with them during recess. I didn't want to do this because this is when I played with my friends. After fifth grade, counselors at Kamehameha talked to my mom and me about assets. I didn't want to leave my friends, but I knew they might be right. You see, it's just my mom, me, and my two brothers. Our dad died when I was four, and my mom works hard and does everything for us. Whenever we ask for new shoes, a new Xbox, or really anything, she gets it for us. The only thing she asks in return is that we get our college diploma. She says it all the time when I was little and still to today. Getting that college diploma means everything. So with the support of Commitment Scholarships, I came to assets first to summer school and then sixth grade. I missed all my friends from Kamehameha, but immediately I felt better. I felt wanted. I found people just like me and found my first two friends, Jordan and Alex. I didn't feel dumb anymore. Now I'm a senior graduating in a few months and then headed to the mainland for college. I don't know where I'm... Oh, thank you. I don't know where I'm headed for sure, but Dr. Travis and I are working on that together. She knows my promise to my mom to get that college diploma, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Assets changed me. It's made me who I am. Sometimes at home in Nanakuli, my mom and I will see kids walking around, hanging out when they should be in school. She tells me she's glad I'm not one of those kids, that if I turned out like them, she know I didn't do enough to help me. If Kamehameha hadn't helped me find assets, I'd probably be one of those kids. But here, I've learned to love learning. Now I like going to class, sitting with my friends, and listening as Mr. Hanna explains math. <laughs> In Mr. Keller's chemistry class, I know he gets me. Sometimes he calls me outside and says, come, let's talk, you're not in trouble. He can just tell I'm having a bad day and makes time to listen to me. He tells me he was just like me when he was my age. Now I know I want to be like him. I play basketball because I love sports, but also because I want to put assets on the sports map. And by the way, if you missed it, we went undefeated last year, so we're definitely on the map. I play because maybe some kid will see us. They'll see that we're not the weird kids. We're smart and creative. We just learn things differently. And maybe they'll realize that assets is here for them too. When school started last fall, I couldn't believe I was a senior. I remember being a freshman and looking at the seniors and thinking, wow, I'll never be like them. I also remember looking at the school's logo that says, learning that transforms life and laughing, thinking it was the silliest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but now I'm here, a senior, and I know exactly what it means. Assets has not only transformed my life, but my family's life as well. Now I try to reach out and help freshmen, telling them it's okay that people here care and will make time for you. I reach out to my younger brother and tell him, I was just like you, you can do this. Sometimes I miss my dad. When I see other kids with their dads, I wonder why they have to be mine that got taken away. But I hope he's proud of me that I've grown to be a respectful and responsible young man. 
When I first started at Assets, my mom would wake me up every morning at 4.30 so I could make the bus. I'd be cranky, have a sassy mouth, and talk back to her. <laughs> but I'd feel bad after. I didn't want to let her down. Now I give myself up, pack my own lunch, and get out the door, sometimes before she even wakes up. But I always tell her bye and that I love her. I am able to graduate high school because of a scholarship, a lot of caring people, determined people, especially my mom. <laughs> Assets isn't just another private school, it's a place that saves kids and their families. It kept me in school and showed me who I could be. Scholarships here don't just educate kids, they save lives. Today, my mom is proud of me. She tells people that I go to assets and what I've done here. And sometimes on the long bus ride home, I look at myself and think, wow, I've done this. I'm proud I came to assets. Thank you. <laughs>